welcome to another edition of EAC Industry News. Today we're again lucky enough to have David Crombie, EAC CEO, here to give us an overview on what's happening in the industry as well as at EAC over the month of June and July. Good morning, David. Good morning, David. Um, the EAC eForm solution, a new platform, has been out for about one week now with um, lots of positive response from users. For those out there that haven't had a chance to either sample the new platform or are not on eForms at all, what exactly is different about this platform as opposed to the previous? Yeah, Damien, the, the main change in the platform is the look and feel of the system. So with the new system, the actual form looks like it uh, does when it prints out. So mm -hmm. in the old system, you had to scroll all the way down the, uh, down the page mm -hmm. to uh, fill out the form, uh, but the new system open up the form, looks like the, it does when you print it, looks like the, uh, you know, what the printed form looks like. Mm -hmm. And uh, you simply complete it and, uh, and go from there. The other, the other introduction in the new system is the ability to include photos and images. Nice. Uh, so they can be uh, attached to the form and then when you actually print the form they can be included in an addendum at the, at the back of the form. So. Excellent. Um, and we have had webinars um, instructional webinars just to go over those changes. It's been well attended. A lot of the feedback from that was it, it's fairly easy to use anyway, but we will be uh, inviting uh, users again to attend one of the webinar sessions that we'll be having in the next couple of weeks, but you'll receive an information sheet on that uh, very shortly. Um, we've had a great response to New South Wales Heats uh, for the Australasian Auctioneering Championships. How many entrants do we have so far, Dave? Or well, the entrants are closed. I mean, and um, do we have any results from anywhere else? We received 11 entrants to the uh, New South Wales heats. Um, we've got several of the contestants that were in the competition last year and we've got some new ones um, as well this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those that haven't seen the videos on eac.com.au for the finalists last year, the, the level of auctioneer is extremely high and uh, it'd be great to see uh, someone in New South Wales uh, in the finals uh, this year. Mm, and I'm led to believe the Bressick Whiteley boys are represented again, the winners from last year, first and second place, and Damien Cooley coming in from Cooley Auctions as well. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've also this year we've got uh, an entry from uh, Harcourt's, mm -hmm. uh, McGrath's, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the, the, uh, the large groups are uh, represented this year. So. Okay. Now, for anyone that's out there and may be interested in attending just to have a look at this quality, and, and I'm sure that some of your young auctioneers out there, I mean, attending a function like this or attending an event like this would give you a lot of good tips to use when you're out there. Um, can anyone just turn up? They can, and last year we had several, uh, there's a few members that actually attended just to sit and watch mm. and to you know, use it as a learning experience in, uh, in their own auctioneering and to enhance their own auctioneering skills. So. Absolutely, coming up shortly. Um, I hope it's not letting anything out of the bag early, but I, I have seen a lot of work going on in the new EAC corporate site. Is there anything you can give us um, on that one, Dave? Yes, we've, we've designed a, a new EAC.com.au website. The site's been designed as the uh, go-to place for everything about EAC. And uh, we've been working with, uh, although we have internal uh, developers, to get the result that I want, and plus our internal people. Busy. Mm. Um, I've used external web developers to provide a very modern and uh, fresh look and feel. I um, hope to launch it in July. Uh, the site is pretty much complete now. We're just looking at some of the more technical details um, to ensure that all the other systems that, uh, that sit off the AC economy will continue to work when we launch the site. So yeah, and uh, I think one of the best uh, benefits that I've seen on it as well, not as opposed to you'll be able to order online and it'll be seamless, but I think the fact that it's um, responsive to both uh, tablets and iPhones and all well, mobile devices basically is, is a big winner for the site in, in general. Which is very important. I mean, with the, the traffic heading more and more off the desktop onto the, the mobile device, um, you know, I'd say within 12 months there'll be more traffic. You know, if we look, if we look at real estate portals, it's just a, about even in regards to the, the amount of mobile traffic coming versus desktop traffic. So Absolutely. Uh, it's really important to have. Uh, I've heard around EAC that there's been a few submissions and letters being written around the places. Is there anything you can let us know about those, Dave? Yes, there's a, currently a review undergoing the, the Property Stock and Business Agents uh, Act regulations. Uh, we've sent information uh, previously about the review. We've uh, put our submission in. 
uh, in the main, we were, there were no real issues in what the, the suggested changes were. Once again, deregulation of uh, you know, commercial has come up. Uh, we've raised several issues in our submission in that regard. Uh, we actually have a meeting with the Minister on the 1st of July, uh, the new Minister, mm -hmm. uh, as a result of the uh, cabinet reshuffle that took place. Mm -hmm. So we'll be talking about our submission and uh, several other items that uh, regards industry when we meet with the new Minister on that, uh, on that day. Nice one. And can members get a hold of uh, the submission that we put in? Yes, if anyone's interested in getting a copy of our submission, um, feel free to uh, contact me or you know, just a contact membership and mm -hmm. uh, we can get it sent out to you. Sure, just, uh, just send an email to membership at eac.com.au and just request a look at that. Um, it was open for agents to put their own in as well, but I'm led to believe that's closed now. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, on this uh, newsletter, we, we've included a section where we've updated our privacy statement. It basically deals with the gathering of personal information from our customers and, and, and people in general. Well worth a look. Um, we will be sending an individual broadcast out about that in the next day or so. Um, awards for Excellence are closing on the 30th of June. Anything to add there, Dave? Yes, uh, the Awards for Excellence, uh, we've got one, I think maybe two submissions in now. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see AC members represented at the awards at Absolutely. both the national level. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we've got to get through the state level first. And uh, these, these are awards have not been open in New South Wales agents for a couple of years now mm -hmm. and uh, you've got till the 30th download the entry form, download the uh, statement of claim uh, for one of the 15 awards completed, send it in and uh, we'll get you in there. Yeah, there's plenty of categories there for both agency as well as agents so yeah dive onto EAC, go into our events page and, and there'll be plenty of information there. Um, EAC Diaries, orders are closing for all those members and non-members out there that are, are using EAC Diaries. If you haven't got, if you haven't placed an order yet, I'm led to believe they close on the 27th of this month. So um, don't miss out. Um, there is an article in EAC News where you can download an order form and get those into us. So yeah, don't hesitate to get those because um, they, there will be no late entries on that one. So jump on. Um, well, Dave, the the state of origins on tonight. Can I pin you down for an opinion? I, I tell by the colour of the shirt there where you're going for. Well, the opinion is is that New South Wales is going to take it out this year. Absolutely. So uh, for all those Queensland supporters out there, I'm sorry, but New South Wales all the way. So one on the run, go the Blues. Anyway, um, thanks for that, and thanks, Dave, and and we'll we'll catch you next month with another industry update.